the front line with Kufwana only on CTV. He set out on a mission to crusade corruption, crime against injustice across social standing, including the workers of iniquities in the body of Christ. However, some elements in the Bath equation were not comfortable enough to have allowed the wheel of justice to grind to pursue the path of dignity, sanctity, and integrity. Rather, the only option left was for them to resort to grand conspiracy of a loud silence against the backdrop of his quest to pursue the truth. Nevertheless, the narrative can change that says the vindication of crime is in the womb of time. Well, tonight begins yet another journey of setting the pace, the need for accountability as part of our social corporate responsibility enshrined in the spirit of gatekeeping as a member of the fourth estate of the realm. Question remain. Do you want to be part of the change we wish to see? How prepared are you? Well, our maiden edition begins tonight. I am Kweku Anan, and this is the front line. Of course, we are live across dozens of stations across regional capitals and of course also live across the social media you can just tap on your phone all across social media instagram youtube facebook TikTok, and of course a lot more all on my ctv gh again my ctv gh and of course on my social media handle also on the frontline ghana on my personal uh, social media the frontline Ghana and you get all these you know all these social media for you to watch the show and watch it very very effective it was ya memo akwaba memo atras me nimi say watwen ya che ejebe ojebe oja ni ababi si eh every way enne enna me no wo hye sa program yi ase na ebusia enye asem a emu bedwo sa anadwi be bia wo hwe mi bia e wo Ghana mfa na biara and now, if we are see baby, I saw a worship me no. The American said, "Call a friend to call a friend to call a friend." Together we think and talk. We are here, and then also to form the file crew to be part of the change we wish to see. I believe, sir, we be part of the change we wish to see. So you don't exempt yourself because my meaning convention was is a show way. It's not for the weak or the weary, but for the strong, folks. Ghana attack the Ache for a while longer. And I think that maybe together you and I we think and we talk will make a sense of it all. The frontline maiden edition is airborne above seabed, 33,000 above seabed. Tonight, very interesting edition of Bro, a Mubeya ship. Pa 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 pa. Bibi a washem in social media. A normal TV, so normal TV na washa shewa, but bebre no M se munya ni difficult to kakra. It says eh, oko normal TV na ABC o munya oho. Enti the obey ane se se wo decode oho, especially se wo a good TV. Theodore, I told you I'm going to do an advert for this very good TV people. Quickly, let's sign a deal now. If you have a good TV, from what they are called good TV, so oko swa na wa eden wa check it. Class TV, class o class. Class TV. We are going to be better. We are going to be better. We are going to be better. Class TV. And now CTV. No. You are trying to show you. CTV. To go. We are going to be better. We are going to be better. We are going to be better. And now I'm going to be better. We are going to be better. And of course, I'll tell you. And now I'm going to be CTV. And now I'm going to be better. So the narrative of black people in the United States was so the narrative of black say YouTube Facebook or TikTok all across board ni na obenya program ni ebi ho station we yankasa no ni social media handle and am dia man very simple my ctv ghana all across my ctv ghana obenya ho then Again, Oko Miasumi page wa and I say quick one and page wa a YouTuber a the front line, the front line Ghana. The front line Ghana and Ubinya wa YouTube, Ube Sienya wa Himfa, a year Facebook and then TikTok. The rest you know yeah the back on later and maybe I come a come at the amount. Ibusia. Ya no baby sum kesia papa 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 pa. Ma Ghana et me afanetam papa edifra. Na ene akwe ye made in additioning. 
ye de nyoma bi gugu akwan mu tem 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 e de ama first place ye 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 be koye nim no as i say ye da impenifo bi ase wo chidoma wo mode abo ye ana se akwa ba wo mode aman ya ama ene ye no abetra ha ye no esom no didi kan ma me fa special thank you and from the group chairman of this very uh, group of uh, stations media houses of course begin with uh, ora alahaji Sidu Agongo, my special thank you and of course respect for this very great guy and all the things he has done, managed to bring up all this cluster of media houses and young men and women. Enye emwejuma wamo eye na mekachira ose. Ebusya, ebra bibri muni mse me ba humji mo kakrano. Yes, there were lots of stations that wamo approach here back to back, but he decided that no, we need to stay a while longer. Ni enche eni mbi kakrano. But then he drew baby in a natural sense. Still, as I say, he had to say, he said, "Bam from him." Near be boa, as members of the gatekeepers coming from the forty state of the realm to help our citizens of this nation to make an informed choice and decision making, especially that we are going into the area, the crux of it, election 2024. Into a CTV and I said, CMG group of companies. A ton craft friend on natural sense. See it to me, but now. And I think I said, I'm a group chairman for the effort place so far. Then the next person, a uh, director of operations, director of operations, yeah, my, Theodore. I have a great sense of respect. Theodore, this man, a friend and a brother. Now, time one, if as a group chairman, he didn't come over here, and I'll hand over baton to the man. Now, Papa, any he didn't come over a brano brano walking with us our path. To make sure, say the year should be ano. Yen sa kan the year same pinu forty to two akwem and sana eba be she program ya sana papi di mo akuti ni ye. Let's see then now see Edmano. Then my director of uh, uh, human resource, of course, eh, Mami Lizzie. Lizzie has also done a great job for us. Until Lizzie, director of uh, HR, you, you, we owe a lot of you know thanks and gratitude to her. Why are they? Papa, papa, papa. And then my director of TV, director of television, Ayora, Same Senenu, Same Senenu, Ono Enawa prepared this very beautiful studio way for us to sit here tonight to give you this very maiden edition we are with Timmy. And I can't really thank them enough for all the great preparation back to back, you know, assessing how things will go. And many other day, as I said, me to me, a ball. Nabaso, Papa Papa, Sami Senenu, director of TV. And of course, another great guy also in the house, Ura Joe. No, before Joe, my memo, Mr. Ajeman. Mr. Ajeman, a director of markets, marketing. We dear quoting Papa Pay. Mr. Ajeman, a dear quoting Papa Papa, a bra. You can't say Mr. Ajeman, and Freyeno, Papa and Pupunity, and of Freyeman, Komoa, ye dear. Nina Esui Nise Esui Eda Womonso Ase. Then this young man also in the house, Ura Joe Korte. Joe Korte is one of the engineers here at CMG. Joe, thank you so much for everything that you've done so far. You're a friend and a brother, and let's continue the brotherly. And I believe that I know and I did be quite any man kasa kasa. Then me we are. My memory me kasa me production team. No, yes, editor at large currently watching me from afar. Eno Kofi Ejiri, salute you, bro. Yes, I know you are laughing. And of course, you are also watching this show. He's the editor at large for this show and also director of research, Emma The Frontline. Womwa Asusu, Eneshe, Eye, Fence, online TV station, and Munim Se, Ye Nuo Mo, Asuma, and I say, Ye Ba Fiyuni, Ye Ba Tiye, Ye Hawk TV, Ono No Ye Pini, Ekan, and then Ure Kofi Ansa. Great guys, I have a lot of respect and gratitude owed to them. And then, Ye Ba, in-house productioner, my executive producer for Frontline Show, eh, Yao Yamba, who is going to join me shortly. Yao Yamba is in the house. And then social media editor, eh, uh, Campbell, Keynes Campbell, great guys, great guys. Eh, bomi chidom. In the show, we saw on social media. You see, I say, eh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, or Twitter, any of them be a wash a Sabrina, Kaina Shannon, so say, eh, Keynes Campbell. Is the guy behind the scenes working for you to watch this show with uh, all the social media handles on it? Then, remember my cameraman. I have a lot of respect and gratitude to my camera guys. I make a so many camera CCC every corner. Be a sabri with me, and I have Ura Ni Tego. 
And to me, I have a friend I have a friend like that, very good friend of mine. It's called Nia Itego. But I have Mr. Tego, great guy. One more air boy drummer. Papa, papa, papa. We mean a stay overnight. Air share program way. A bit take care of to say program na a bed in a bed tough form. And then Mr. Samson also sitting directly watching me. Now she say quick quick camera na be be an air call. Come on, come on, I'm out. And then MCR credible, great guy, respect credible. On social straw a yen in your mouth. Papa, papa. And then Mr. Amandu Anna Danielati. I don't know which one we should go with, but I'm sure say Amando na bebwa kama kama bibia de dana na kwem papa papa. And then one of the engineers in the house, also a friend and a brother, Victor, wherever you are, thank you for all the things you did. But then the right of operations and all was them. And the bombardiano chana pa and yoma ebiti mi adeda ye. Folks, a lot is coming on this show. But then Mika say. And you say, ah, we could not program your bed and you to me a participate in your own account. Yes, mommy, really see a temporary number for you. I'll do a message about first going forward on Wednesday, you know, uh, mania a reliable number at the amount. Now, do a message after so anything your first impression about our maiden edition, the frontline show with a WhatsApp message in the bed for 024 764 0312. Mississippi number, ube message after so at their brain. And they may program no eh zero two four seven six four zero three one two zero two four seven six four zero three one two making kind of message in a area amount now bibiano ah to to na kwemu kama 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 na yashe sidi and you might say now without much delay no ma me inviting the executive producer yao yamba to come in shortly now what is it that yao is going to do yao e ba be man run down the front line program no juma ben ye but first ma meaning can be a so ma say front line a programmer me tire tagline din asia kakra tire say e bra no bra no say bbc a for na say pandemic e si na no di e si 2019 one more no mu di pandemic ni mpa no eh the paramedics our doctors our nurses the media no money ade she said ebra en to kwa dbc a ye hia enipa kokudro fo mo mu ni enim no sa ni pe no mu eden e di enim now so the front line no is to tell you say ye ba be di media wo gana ni nim na ya ko okoden between now and say jesus christ wo my baby ba Beba tonight, folks. And your summer, and we'll be a crack, 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 crack. So, quickly, let me bring in my executive producer, Yao Yamba, in the picture for Yao to give us a whole arrangement of this show. But may I say, them program we were in Krabata be brave, but essentially, we are going to stay a while longer with three segments. Three segments, you know, Yao is going to give us all the breakdown of the three segments. And Nayasha said, and Yoma is here. Yao, good evening, good evening, sir. Akwaba. Yeah. Finally, we are here. Yes, so <laughs> I am very happy and yes, I'm excited yes, yes. at this point in time. Great, 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 great. So, yeah, uh, for our listeners and viewers to have a bite of what we are about to do, you know, the front line here, Chirimuka Kratchoma, segments after segments, you know, a day and a day and a woman. So, before I even go to the segment, you know, yeah. I would like to thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah. And I would like to thank the viewers of the various channels on CMG that have tuned in to be watching and listening to us at this point in time. Today marks the beginning or the maiden edition of the Frontline Show. Yeah. If you, if you have been following CTV yeah. in the past one month, we've been playing jingles, we've been having advertisements, yeah. trying to prompt people about the Frontline Show. Yeah. Today marks the beginning. And the Frontline Show will be telecasted every Monday, Wednesday and Friday between okay. the hours of 8 and 10 p.m. Oh, I see. Inti, ejwada bia, ukwada bia, any fear that be a for we, we feed you to class TV and on CTV, next year front line show. Now, show nan kasan kasan kasan, yeah. nipe bin edan. Okay. There is a phase to the show. Okay. Nipa is a big fish when it comes to the media industry. Nti, wa kangase, me wakaswa yo kunini. Yo kunini ewo. The big fish. Yes, it's a big fish when it I comes to the media you, industry. Yes, He yes, cuts yes. across the various facets of the media landscape. Okay. He's okay. been on the print media, he's been on radio, he's been on TV, mm. and even on social media. Yeah. And see, the man, the affable man, the man behind the scene, but with the face <laughs> behind the program, is the man, Mr. Kweku Anan. Now your friend of justice, but you see, I know, say, we've been to your justice. Yamba, 
the man when it comes to mr kwekwanan there are a few things you should expect first yeah. of all you should expect education yeah mr kwekwanan will give you education on everything just say okay, why why you this way take yeah. the mister off and it's straight away okay when it yes. comes to kwekwanan yeah. he will give you something certain things exactly. one of them is education just mm -hmm. yeah. another thing you should expect from mr kwekwanan is expose expose you cry see anything yeah and you say anything just say what we call development ever break mm -hmm. Ghana for. Mm -hmm. So that is Mr. Kweku Anan or Kweku Anan for you. Mm -hmm. Now let's come to the show itself. The front line, mm. as you said earlier, it is in three thematic areas. Chese ya chiche mumprensa, or ya chiche mumiensa. The first thing has to do with what what we call the Ghana speaks. Okay. Ghana speaks, you know. If you don't know anything about Ghana speaks, go to YouTube, look for the Hawk TV. Mm. The, the the footprint is there. Yeah. Until until you focus, as I said, or trophy no sin a dancing ni ewa bridge If you watch the Hawk TV, you know what Ghana speaks is all about. Mm. So Ghana speaks, you know, seeks to what to bridge the gap between the various sectors of the economy mm -hmm. or the various sectors of the society. Yeah. Ghana Speak can take top topics on sports, it can take up topics in sociology, it can be on religion, it can be on finance. Yeah. Issues that border on the people, or on the mindset of people, mm. issues that people are worried about. That's what Ghana Speaks is all about. Okay. So Mr. Kwekwana or Kwekwana will throw light on what? The, on issues that borders on yeah. society. The prognosis the, of it. Yes. The Great. next section has to do with what we call the CTV investigatives. Okay. What does that one seek to do? That one seeks to tell us the fact that we've had some investigations over the years. So they say, the year, year, if you move, if you move, ah, documents in our home. It's a better than, than a deal or CTV. So week in, week out, we keep giving you one investigation after the other. Mm. In the CTV investigatives, you know, one thing we are going to do. We are not going to do anything called witch hunting. We are not hunting anybody. <laughs> we are going to come out with facts. We are coming with videos. We are mm. coming with what pictures. Yeah. We are coming with evidence. Evidence based what reportage. And you know, yeah. And the third one has to do with something we call the CTV crossfire. Yeah. And it is in line with the corporate social responsibility of the class media group. What we seek to do is that we will bring on board the various political parties. Mm. So the political parties will have representatives. And that show comes off the last Friday of every month, which is likely to take off from next month or mm. early February, mm. uh, early April. Okay. Yes. So that one comes on the last Friday of every month. Mm. And we are going to pick topics from okay. the various political parties. So there are programs and policies that they want to, uh, to present to Ghanaians. Okay. So we pick up a topic and then the... If there are two political parties, let's say NDC and MPP. So let's say NDC decides to give us Mr. Sami Jenfi, MPP gives us Mr. Richard Ahiagwa, we'll take a topic, let's say the 24 hour economy, yeah. then they'll come and crossfire. So you have a, a space of one month to prepare and come and crossfire. The next segment will take another topic. Let's mm -hmm. say we are dealing with one district, one factory. So whoever the various party delegates to come and represent them here, they will have a crossfire on it. So at the end of the day, you, you have the opportunity to sell your program mm. and your, the other political parties will have the opportunity to what? To, to cross fire. Mm. They will have the opportunity to pinch holes into your, your argument that you put across mm. so that the Ghanaians mm. and then the populace, the entire populace will, will be well informed as to what uh, the, the policies are about so that when they are making decisions, come 7 December, they know exactly what they are doing. In the Nkwakwani now say, the better among us is say, Omojo Mufidi Atoha. And at this point in time, one thing I want to tell every Ghanaian is that we have one country. There's one Ghana. Everybody has a responsibility. And this is the responsibility class media group has taken upon ourselves, using front line to educate people. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, between the hours of 8 and 10 p.m. for now, mm. we'll be telecasting the front line show. And we will give you research-based topics. Every topic that we bring on board it will be based on what research. Yembe, tina ha inye here say. Inye grow di o. Inye here say. Inye say we be akoka we ni ati o. It's based on research. Yeah. As you have said, inye grow ni ba ba ba. Inye media grow hanamo. It was based on research, facts. 
You see, and in journalism, we have the three cardinal pillars, which we call the, um, we, we seek to educate, inform, and entertain. But wherever I have, you know, I've been, and from the beginning of my journalism, I've always worked with two things. I inform and I educate. I really can't figure that there has ever been that, that sort of entertaining on their platform. That's true. Except that maybe some may find some of my stuff being entertaining, but I don't think I do entertainment. It's about we educating. Yes. So that's, that's one instructive thing we need to hammer there. Go ahead. So in the nutshell, what I'm yeah. going to say is that the front line shoe has come to stay. The front line shoe is here to have impact on society. Yeah. It is here to what effect a change. So let's tune in to CTV and our joining stations. Social media, watch Frontline Show on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between the hours of 8 and 10. Thank you. Great one, great one, great one. And of course, that's executive producer Yao Yamba just gone past a few minutes ago. And our uh, other program, no, then Krabata Emu is seen in Ode Ebro Emma Utimi who said yeah, and Yoma A C call and Shano to say uh and Yema P Kika Kaho, but for the purposes of it, as we go along and we roll we roll out our roadmap, you know what this program is is so big. The whole nation is on our shoulders, folks. And yeah, better sir. But quickly, my man, and can show them se wo pe program bi so wa hwe sabre na wo hu tete wa be se ko tv no so try so be fidget tv no across wo be nya eh ctv ahwe but ne kra 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 no e ha adwen am se wo decoder eh go tv a go tv no wo be tumi akko go tv no so na why then wa flip wo be nya ctv e wo ho ana ne kra 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 no ko all our social media handles of course if you dey we uh if you dey we no your social handle no eh my CTV simple. My CTV. My CTV. My CTV is across all the handles. Instagram, Twitter, also Twitter, uh, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. Then me and my personal handle. Miss my personal handle no eh, yeah, the frontline Ghana. The frontline Ghana. Ubenyani Nebi. And so Asha went. Uko YouTube. Uko TikTok. Uko Facebook. Uko Ediabaya. Eh, yeah, the front line Ghana Ubinyebi Ashe Oho. Shannon said tonight I'm gonna to give you the uh, segment called Ghana Speaks. Now Ghana Speaks part one and then the extension is coming pretty shortly. Now Ijada Ijadim to make catch us every call a friend to call a friend to call a friend. Call somebody in where half a sneen. Call somebody in Sankase. Call somebody in Boko. Call somebody in Wa, call somebody in Copenhagen, call somebody in Amsterdam, Israel, Tel Aviv, call somebody in the United States, London, Germany, all over the world. Let's glue to our set together with Think and Talk. We are here tonight to lift up the image of Ghana one more time. If it's possible, sir, as I see it to me, yes, Edmaya. Amayame na eche chereko na we, ude ochi chiru diye nye ye, diya munimni asre sire. As the city, yen sire, muko ji sika na ba, na ma betra hu ne mwe di, sika diye, sika diye, sika diye na me diye kika hon. Sem basa basa. But folks, Ghana speaks in me, the best shah no ama. But, she no say, Ghana speaks in me, answer ne be banon. O, message out pe sa ode, but of course your first impression about the show. We really don't care too that much. Aha, enye French name is, sa o. Of course, going all along in the national, it's, it's like a lifestyle show, but you need to have a You to have Now, messages out there, but what's up message in here? 024-764-0312. I repeat, the what's up message is in the other way, 024-764-0312. Make it easy for you. Our message is in the other way, and you can make it easy 024-764-0312. Want to make in kind messages in uh, any amount now before Ghana speaks comes in. Mame and I make it this announcement say more advertisers and I say Jumaku, hmm, be a more corporate organizations, whether you are in telcos and I say you are into manufacturing of something in Miane, in Ru, and all kinds of a name, be a noir, more than more yeno, be a more yeno, say ye be a new. Say it then you say it about you, Nina. No, 
ubetimi aba program we so e ye the front line e wo see tv ha ah ye be advertise amao shop me see si biom edumakuo ahodo ankra ankra edumakuo corporate organizations and our corporate bodies ah muton ade mu didwa hm na mo pese ye advert e ma mo e wo program so a me sraw tumirika because e be kakra anhwa ne we nya space e wa ha to all the corporate bodies but she no say say bia wo ton eduro enro bi mo manufacture enro bi anan po say eye duane eye die anan say eden a mesrew she no say food and drugs authority for have certified the quality and efficacy of the drugs before and sana kwe kwe de man no be ka why for more thing ne to mrika bra na yan advert en fa man e biom say wo pese wo ba live interview en so so we show you before the program will be airborne wo pese eye live interview en so ye no ye live interview we show no so ye bo a uh, product in Hudira and also a queen yard the in temp 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 me power chow and ne a me meeting edition eddie co or china or china chd co week name is channel so bombardina to america now we are corporate body and any organization we have a person we advertise advertising on ubit me so afraid a me whatsapp number way but you've been a reliable number eddie amam hopefully wednesday zero two four seven six four zero three one two zero two four seven six four zero three one two we are company and our corporate bodies and more person more advertise here but more than a fresh and number we never advertise here and i'm pushing up a so bad in-house call it studio interview we'll do it really really will be much more than glad to get that interview conducted then you're my added on a come on come on come on now bbi and of course channels said we've walked one leg of the journey making almost approximately 29 minutes gone past the hour eight and this is the front line with kweku and then of course your investigative journalist, we are airborne tonight with our meeting edition, and we invite you to join us with all friends here and around the world, loved ones, to join the feed. Let me greet the big brother, Elvis a free anchor, bro. I salute you so much. I believe it's a BB so air call. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, up next, Ghana speaks. Hmm. There is what goes synonymous with Kweku Anan. And that's my signature call, Ghana Speaks. Said the Yamba Ekaino. Ghana Speaks, ye bra. Many Ghana fui na ebe din komo. Me invite to abba, me no me no. We are professor, we are doctor, emeritus, or whoever you are, a politician, a man of God, everybody, truck pusher, mason, carpenter, obia, come here. Ebe din komo. Hmm? We face the issues and we say it as it is. We be not cause it. Say it as it is and let the chicken fall where they may. Ni easy, sir. On the 6th of March, what are you saying? From a message, bro, I'm going to say it. Bring your message. I don't want to know. But, and I don't want to pretend that I, don't, I know I don't know. But you are watching. I say, on the 6th of March, which is next month, 6th March, na Ghana, it is saying, Great. Tonight's Ghana Speaks up next. The title of my Ghana Speaks in air, Social, Political, and Religious Setbacks. Again, Social, Political, and Religious Setbacks. Part one. Part two, Nusu Wasso, with a mouth. Sharp. Part two, near extension of the part one. Now, Obi Mr. Senegal, the title we into it, yes. A quenya, a manyas, a manyosem. Any a sum a kaboom near the Omai Ghana echo a triasi or Hona Medo Okono. Did you hear that? A social political religious setbacks. Setbacks, so and in a digan in ya for well over say, let's even skew around the period of say the fourth Republican constitution, barely saying 31 years, right? And you are happy. You are happy with the state of affairs, yes. Hana me be biasem so achira wo. E konya amanyo sem eni esum akabom na triye akofom na kaninu na kwe ti se oh oh ye nyan kwe oh I said but e ranum semi de ne kwe kachira wa na driya na wye gane niya me se begin to get more angry than you think you are angry ya me kan wotye be more angry and be more pissed off 
than you think you are. Because something is not going right. And your man nay yes, uh masembi a makachra gana for a bribi baby anami woman say, hey, munukum kakra kebia katamu my insu. Messi dia dark clouds continue to cover the airspace of Ghana. And you think that Ghana is being liberated. I'm sorry. Your nation, Ghana, is rather going down the ditch with a speed of beam light. Sooner rather than later, we are going to hit the iceberg, not the chip of it. And we surely need a life oxygen to survive. Do you want to be part of the change you wish to see? Or would you would you say? Wa man yo kuoni ba. Huh? Ni a yo minister. Ni a yo say. Ni a yo say. Ni sikedie nwa. Sikedie, sikedie, sikedie. Na mudi bisu di 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 maaba di 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 omwa. And I'm going to add it. Now, Shadia, tonight I am going to share with viewers and listeners here in Ghana and around the world the precipice to our problems, call it setbacks, roadblocks, including largely what has militated against the prospects and the progress of Africans, especially the state of our thinking, thinking process. What cost it and who cost it and why? Many more better idea way. A be be my gun a car home. A coin ya, ya dear faswa. I must say, be ya genuine to me, si si so. Ya genia in si so. When ya bea ne dregu. When ya besoma na pasca. A dee ne de baye. A yen yen to me. A na se. A yo be an odia fast. I'll coin with you dear besi sam quinty away. O my as our road map in the reno. And no jay is see ho. That the question remains, what is it that we ourselves, we have done to ourselves with the consciousness of ourselves? Are we conscious enough? Do you think we are being liberated enough? The liberation of this country no, will not, cannot, and will not be enough until that it is in total liberation with the any and no. But then again, gauge the space. Who are we in your attitude? Folks, and you better. Now, your babies are questions. And why? And all this, or yeah, your bonnie, it is a. Now, dear baby, soon tea, and all the fast, I'll quite wish one. Now, we shall interrogate the above questions further and fundamentally identify those who are behind it. A fee, a be room, near do you call? Near, she said, a year nipper, ben, a dear fast, I'll bonnie, quite wish one. Near your modern. As make us say, some scholars are beginning to think along Bibi Ameko. Open your eyes and your brain. This program, we know, it is for you to learn. And you know, sir, so friends saying, but radio, so, but TV, so for 10 minutes, nante, for 15 minutes. No, watch me out. I bring you what you need to know. I force you to learn. And you have to learn. So me media houses ni na eh ye ne se mum yam fa de nipa na so mu hu en fa nko mo mo a enti e politicians yi ha be bridge e mo gya en semo ni die because the politicians have taken all of us if not as weak and weary and they begin to tell us a lie they don't care they lie through it and then they pass through ni na fi be bia firi o en na die be dun First, now we be say e ya hwan nim na kweku e ka o masemi nya abotre ma me. First, they began the journey to achieve their goal through what you call adulterating our minds through the application of special purpose vehicle called the bear Christianity. Yes. The boss na sofo ni bi yam ahwe mo say hey akwa na ba. O ba ya asumu nu ye kura. Yes, ma sumu nu mo. E kwen ya wono mo fa so Emma na minu mie no ye ntimi hu e ni ni ani o ye ntimi se be en ni ni nsi so nya nyo ma te se ye Ghana fo o ba maka o baby pen let me repeat quickly and he say maka chira o say one democracy is not for the africans and i challenge anybody out there democracy is not for the africans as we often say it's a democracy it's a non embodiment of material goods and must not be given the concept concrete of material dimension in other words one American president will say, uh, it is for the people, by the people, for the people, not here in Africa, for them. But here again, the Africans believe, uh, 
democracy is theirs. So democracy, eh, ya wudia, eni ni dia wuye. Eni dia yehu. The whole of Africa, democracy na yeke, eni ni yehu ya na iranom, eni ni yehu. Ati ti apanza mi. No, democracy is not for you. So I have oftentimes said the leadership in Africa must begin to fight to own their what? Their narrative. Democracy is not for us. The same way as some are here Christo, some are here Africa for the And I challenge anybody out there. My challenge is open. Nobody came out to say, let's sit to debate. Yes. Christianity is not for Na Now, no one is way. Any idea first one, you are contaminating the mindset of Africans all over, including the United States. The African Americans, I swear God, that's how we are. They ain't changed. Even though Akata Fono is known that woman have built the whole America 50 plus one state away. And so when we suit no one buying, when we near, when my fed it is said, Ghana and your waha, it is said, the Af and this people of color. All over Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Zimbabwe, Kenya, South Africa, the way you know, you know, meaning that the black man hasn't changed. Indeed, Africans must appreciate and be proud of who they are and what they are made of, right? As I said before, we own our narrative. Now, young Kassan, so, yeah, then. Ye to me, a boy, a whole abbasso say, hey, young so, young coupon boy, you, yeah, you nipa. Abraham Tebi, Jonas, no be kanasem. Osi bibi ninsu ye nipa. Enti, abonfiya ye bu ye huwe. It does, me say, eh ne eh, eh a reho. Gane ni ya kusku sen. Gane ni ne stedi sen. Ura amanonia. It doesn't matter whether you're a professor, doctor, emeritus, whatever, forget about it. Wombe man wako ye unku si juma. True or false. Gane afu amoshe me abrochele ni mdiya meke. Have you seen why and how? Africans have been reduced to simply to call it a rack to mop the floor. And yet, when you come to your own African nation, we even don't want to respect ourselves. In other words, you are expecting the white supremacist who came through the corridor 15 centuries ago with their sea safaris came and corrupted your forefathers until now. How many centuries down the line? Calculating 15 centuries ago, they rode to the corridors of Africa. Today, ASN, 21st century. So how many centuries? Calculate enough for Bremen. And see the deep throat contamination of our mindset. Again, we must discover that before this supremacist rolled to the corridors of our motherland, Africans, we knew what? We knew God. And I'm a boy. And send a bro, Nini Bebano, at the democracy of Bro, at the Assum of no wo papa nom no wo maame nom no wo munimo yankopon de that so what has changed but you know what they were smart enough to contaminate your mind they were smart enough to change the narrative and one of my psychology lecture been or kind of some say you know what and i it is true whenever the danger part in the same be careful sir do not be scared of the man who would get closer to you and pull a gun at you do not be scared but be scared of the man who holds control over your mindset and then hypnotize you control your mind with a certain narrative open to the more it is said there were over above for no one a kid to one one when some and above friendly free yes ah hmm and you say your money now you want one more no there is no way ah say me my woman bar my child will go out to the next door and speak the language of the next door. Highly impossible. This is a highly psychological feed on our minds. And this is what the supremacist, this white supremacist did to our forefathers. That you and I today, we are caught in the crossfire. And we are simply refusing to think after the discovery of the truth. Folks, again, it's imperative to also disabuse the mindset of Africans into believing that in God's wisdom hmm, and power, all problems must be resolved. Now, Sawuko Yen Sorin Sorin Mua, Afi Kasebia, Yakachre, a Christophone is, oh, I deal with the Tiasia, 
Eh, onze, nyanko pon, sana, eh, na, ye, ye din tre tre biaba. Se, oh, sana, se, ye, no. But, mami nka ase min chum, se, there have been situations confronted mana. Se, a situation God wanted to be. E, bi, before, en, ti as, ye, se, ah, a den tine, ye, a de, we, a to, ye, a den tine, a de, we, a to, me, a den tine, a sem, we, a si, a den, no, bi, bi, ni, nim, sa, why? Because when you go to the Christian front line, some of these our men of God have hypnotized our mindset. We have to get it right. No. There are situations you have to understand. So, you have to say, and you have situation. say, and you have to say, and you have to say, and you have to say, and Christ have to say, and you 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 have Period. say, and say, in certain situations, means you know, God is asking you to test another faith. So who ya di ebi ne unkunim di enso emma? Enya wa dunse ni ankupu oniho oniho derbi. Ti asye se o Bible no sa kacho se and let's test all the faith and know the truth. Tu anamon fufro na she we a Muslim ni a maybe ko ye Christian ni we a Christian ni a ko Muslim we a Krishna ko maybe Hindu or Gnostics or whatever ne ye enche se ebe ko se na ma wo. But you see. We've been hypnotized, we've been packaged, we've been zeroed down to one particular mindset for well known thousands of centuries ago. Before 1831, the abolition of slave trade, Africans have been boxed together, put together, shaped together, run over. And that's the challenge. The third one I'm going to and you want to say BBS and Yanko Poyama, my sophon, they be a whoop. Oh, I feel so you own said they were all over in the churches. Oh, and I'm over worry. Oh, move in your visa. Oh, move to coin. Oh, move the year. Move the SSR. We move here. No, my sign about one side of the equation. Oh, and you pay bew. Accident, a beba. Sabin prayed we are some quasia kick us out. No, my form ready until the IGP told them, say, hey, wait a minute. Don't you even know that there's law governing this? The third one I make out on is that sometimes understand one thing is that God will not honor your blessings. Why? Because if he does that, it is going to cost you dearly. Because very possible said that day now will mark an end of your life. Tobuase. Tobuase. Let's sit to think as human beings. Now, Metimiaka said. There is pressure on every Ghanaian depending, sir, or your Christian. There's a massive pressure at the Ghana and Ibiaso. I finish soon, ya, Moko Motete first, and now my soft one, I start to pump it to two mutrim. Oh, and I feel be di ye, and I'll be say, now, first quarter, never seen, no onion, who any breakthrough, ever na brabuma, who believe he said God is out of his of the equation. I'm sorry. He would continue to be the God that you know, he will continue to be the God. He who was and is to come. He who forms the complex networks of the galaxy. He is an unchanging God. Africa, he is so unchanging All the time, we want to relegate our irresponsible lifestyle, lifestyle to God. Anything be a dream beton. Oh, there be, oh, nyami be mudia. Sometimes we speak unconsciously, as if though it's nothing. Oh, nyame woho, nyame beye, nyaminti, nyaminti, nyame. It's all about that. Would you go to the Europeans and tell them this? When the Europeans have wake up, any briso, wamu ye juma 24 hour, as former President Mahama is saying to Ghanaians, 24 hour economy must be activated. Any person in TV that. Any person, sorry, ko ye juma, se me ken, Ghana, su suma wo meimu, e ye su suma, o biya sorry ni ye ko ye juma, sa mo cathedral, sa ni mo church, sa ni adia mo sisiya, mo hippie nipa ko gumuno, oso fo no beti ma bebe juma ba da da gane ni. After all, ye si nipa u di di wye, na wo meya, asamasa, ana, would you go there? Have you seen how a, Ye reduce ourselves, including religion, 
to that of like a rag to mop the floor. Say here, can say, over billions of Ghana cities have been taken by the government of the NPP. When they quiet them, President Akufuado, or see Okwaku see cathedral. I yari for sick people, sick cathedral, cathedral. No, no promises. Onyango pondo. Attorney in the name of the state. Nano kranaya isi apin ewoho cathedral. Folks, I are who some map minu me no. My office here, Queen. Now, having set this fundamental premise, however, it is important now to expose the cracks of this phenomenon and the state of our paranoia, hmm? long overdue, which has led us into a vulnerable, isolated, or if you like, stressful situation that again led us feeling negative of ourselves. We are there. I feel the amaye na ya toba ha ya boto. E kwenye wamu di e fast so akwen tu numu adine amaye ya boto e ya wamu fe ni ye. Anadi mi be biye kwenye biya chira o ne wamu kwenye wamu di mi niu mi eno wamu di a fast ubi si ne. These are indeed the negative tendencies which have contributed largely to our developed inferiority complex, lack of self confidence, religious dogmatism, psychology, hypnotism, self pity. And many more. So who's there? Ama ebi before. They be a yen nama. Ye bu ye huwa bu unfiya. Ye ni confidence. Omani ye wo. Yanka sampo. Ye ni confidence of ourselves. A day we. We can get it done. That is the level to which the black. So who's there? Bi binini bro ni ye juma. Ye down so. Folks. Sir. Production I ready ya me ba be chira mo adebi na me be yibi bi a chira o e kwanya abrofi fa aswa wo mo di e bedroom pempenso we na shemfoni na me be yia chira o in ejifi no me be yia chira o na wa hwe kwanya the mindset of Africans was adulterated beginning with what the religion called Christianity and then they took complete host of us. This is how the journey started. Folks, take a listen to this. So the narrative of a black people in the United States was, you know, you came from these primitive, savage people who had no history, and everything you are, we hate you. Strip the African of his knowledge of himself. You can then replace that knowledge with any falsification of consciousness you desire. Once you've taken my knowledge of myself, you can then tell me those lies. To get someone to actually think that someone else is inferior, you have to raise that type of mentality to a religious level. Remember, when they attacked Africa, they did not attack Africa physically. They did not attack Africa education. They attacked Africa spirit. Jomo Kenyatta said when the European first came in Africa, the African had the land and the white man had the Bible. White man told him to close his eyes, get on his knees and pray. Joe said when the black man opened his eyes, the white man had the land, and the black man had the land. It's just an awful how they did us some religion. And our people tend to think that even those who feel that they know that white Americans have mistreated us, their grandchildren and great-grandchildren still mistreat us in a lot of ways. They still believe we but nobody will lie about God. When that's not true. People, people who are, are trying, trying to, to subjugate enough people, people and turn them into slaves, not just physically but mentally, then uh, they certainly would try to uh, teach them that God looks like me. We thought the only guy we had was the one that white people gave us, which was Jesus, okay? And he looked like them. And uh, when we saw them, psychologically, we were transferred that that was deity. If it really was not important, what did he look like? Then why didn't he look like some of the other, the majority of the people? Are, why would he look like the people who are the minority race on the entire earth? We're not the minority. People always ask me, why did the black church not get rid of the white Jesus and put a blue black Jesus in place with a nappy head? Because the black people were stopped up. In fact, today, if you were to go to Africa and talk to the children who've been Christianized, they would tell you that their ancestors covenanted with devils. And this is why black people are in the condition they are today. So, turn to Christianity, and of course, you turn to the, to the, to the oppressor's religion, 
and then you, you eat the gruel that they give you and at the bottom it says, Jesus saved you. Of course, you're conditioning that person for another thousand years. Christ. When you talk about the image of Christ, it is important that we no longer uh, ascribe to the European image of Christ. Why? Because the brain is an associating organism. It stores everything in its pictures. And because it is associating, if you force feed an African child that Christ is white, because the brain associates, as that child begins to grow, the brain will associate white Christ with white people. And so if white Jesus is God, then white people must also be the gods of humanity. And so guess what? The power in the painting is transferred to the people who resemble that painting. And so it is difficult to pray to a white Jesus and not in some way feel inferior to white people. And that's why when I talk to Christian ministers, I often tell them you have to change these pictures. They say it don't matter. Of course it matters. Why do you think the European went around the world and systematically altered the image of Christ in every major cathedral, every major church, every corner of the globe because it is difficult to oppress a people whose image of the God doesn't look like the oppressor. But when God and the oppressor look one in the same, then the people will come to believe that the oppression was ordained by God. Great folks, <clears throat> isn't this interesting? Now, look at how some of these imageries continue to form a certain opinion on our mindset. They created a God who looks like them, not like you and I. Then they created a Satan who looks like you and I. Now, quickly, uh, I want you to listen to <laughs> the late Miles Moreau. The game plan to undermine our sovereignty, cultural setting and direction, including our identity, through the falsification of the message. Now, let's, the late Miles Moreau, and so can say be, Kwanya, one more fast, so edit society, your culture, your identity, and you be break out. Take a listen to Miles Moreau, the late Miles Moreau. Listen carefully and watch. So the Romans ruled the world, destroyed, destroyed themselves. themselves. Now, now here's, here's the big, big part. part. The, the Roman, Roman Empire, Empire did, did not fall by invasion. invasion. It, it fell, fell by disintegration. Disintegration means it fell apart, like, like a piece of, of a cake that, that just broke up in little pieces. pieces. That's how the Roman Empire fell apart. All you just broke up. And, and what, what happened was everybody scrambled out. And the result was many little kingdoms. kingdoms. Instead of one kingdom, kingdom many little kingdoms. Let me give you some of the names. Spanian, Franco, Berger. It was a Roman kingdom. Anglo, Roman kingdom. Portugal, Roman kingdom. We know these kingdoms in English. Franco, France. Berger, Belgium. Porco, Portugal. Anglo, Spanian. They're all kingdoms. <sighs> They, they are, are all Romans. Romans. They are all Romans. So their psyche, their mentality, ingrained. We were chosen by the gods to rule anybody who don't have our traits. They were chosen by the gods to be our servants and our slaves. They are not complete divine beings like us. We are superior. So the French and the Spanish and the Portuguese and the British, Anglo, Colombian, they decided to expand their kingdoms. So they came to Africa and the Caribbean, and we call it colonization. Colonization is the expansion of Greek leadership philosophy. So going to Africa and bringing slaves over as merchandise was easy. Why? Big nose, big lip, dark skin, busy head, black eyes. I found a million servants. So they come to the West, they establish their plantations, whether it is Carolina, or Florida, or Louisiana, or the Bahamas, or Jamaica, or Barbados, or St. Kitts, or St. Thomas, or St. Lucia, or Guyana, or Mexico. They had their plantations, and they couldn't use the people they met there, because they killed them up with disease. And so they went and found some divine slaves, chosen by the gods to work the ground. And they brought them over on ships, and the first ones to bring them was the Portuguese. The Portuguese told the British, we found some people to work the farms. And the British said, where you got them from? They followed us. And they went to the south, the west coast of Africa. And the French found out, the French said, oh, let's go get some too. And then the Spanish said, oh, let's get some too. And everybody said, dashing for divine slaves. Remember, divine means you were chosen by the gods. It's not racism. It's leadership philosophy. That is in the psyche of the system. Oh, I am here 
and you are here, some of you of my pigmentation, millions of us here in the region, because of our leadership philosophy. That's how important leadership is. If the blind lead the blind, we were being led, and they convinced you. Matter of fact, if you read the writings of the oppressor, they wrote things like this. They read the Bible on you. They said, now you must be good slaves. And they gave us Jesus. You wonder why, you know, the black Muslims and people like that rose up? Because they even used Jesus as part of manipulation. You know, Jesus said you must be nice slaves, and then you go to heaven. If you go to heaven, you get a robe and shoes. You can't get them now, but they give you none. But, you know, you get them and get heaven. So now we, so the slave in the, in the farm starts saying, I got a shoe. Master, you got a shoe. All of God's children got a shoe. But I can get mine until I go to heaven. I'll walk all over. See, in other words, you get yours now, Master. I can get mine and I go to heaven. All of that is brainwashing. Those songs that we used to glory and call Negro spiritual, you need to read the words of those songs. They are strong songs of conversion for your mind to make sure you never rise above. I used to sing them. Don't look at me funny. I was born in a little town called Bay Town. That was a village of slaves. I'm, I'm trying to show you where leadership problems come from. So for 394 years, they ruled these islands, and they made all of us believe you were born to clean my house. You were created to plant my corn. You, you were sent by God to wash my clothes and cook for my children. And so there we were stuck in the back row. Oh, by the way, you know, you ain't got no charisma, so you must be seen. And not her. You see, that's, that's all that's part of the system. system. So, so you're supposed to work, but no one's supposed to see you. And so, so the little slave walk around the house cooking. And, you know, and they're supposed, supposed to be around and master their friends. friends. See, the whole thing, that's, that's, like, that's why, why some of you are timid. You're so timid today, and you think you're cool. Timidity was taught. That's why when a man of my pigmentation speaks up, it makes them nervous because you ain't behaving. Some of you wonder why they thought Martin Luther King was a problem. Because he was a black man talking loud. You ain't supposed to talk loud. Stay in your southern church, half church, with a stained glass window and shout by yourself. Don't come out here telling us we're wrong. That was the problem. It was a, it was a leadership problem. To tell Miss Rosa Parks that she's in the wrong seat was very natural for them. We don't understand. You see, they don't prejudice. This is the conditioning of culture. You ain't supposed to sit here. You have a human. You ain't no complete human. See? <laughs> the gods told us where you're supposed to sit. In the back, they say. The divine assignment. I'm saying this for a reason. That is still here in the Bahamas. No matter how much school you go to, no matter how many degrees you get, no matter how much you think you know, when you come back, they tell you, you're just a smart slave. It's a leadership mentality. So now you know why I'm off through angry. You see why I hate oppression? Because I come at the truth. I love everybody. I like everybody. I like everybody. You know, I like everybody. But don't you ever imagine you're better than me. Oh, mm -mm. You, you think, think you're better, I draw a line. Cross that. That's a big time talk. talk. You don't know about that. And if I ever draw a line, I'm going to start. Great, folks. And yet, I grew up better as I will. But quickly, before I roll out my next video, Shannon says, what's our plan here? 24 764 What's our plan here? 24 With the making kind Amamo. There are loads of messages on Facebook, YouTube, and the other day. But a brain about your making kind, you're beating your kind, Eddie Amamo. Again, what's our plan here? 24 With the bar making kind. Now, after succeeding in planting the seeds in us to germinate into some form of cancer cells, hmm? now begins what? The cancer cells begin to eat us up after they had left. Folks, Afina Womo Cheye Nyeme Bina, Sadden Abeye, Cancer Kokram Yarie, A Edeye Dream, Enye Nipe Dream, Na Eseye No. Hmm? Shadye. The evidence of cancer cells, you know, is what I'm going to tell you 
is the avalanche of charges all over Africa. And yet, little results have been achieved pursuant to our developmental goals. Africa. You cannot go to Asia. You cannot go to the Arab world. Even in Europe, where this religion came from. So, sorry, people, no way. Except in Africa. Now, look, even to the extent that now in Ghana, we are converting industries, factories into churches. Folks, you are converting industries and factories into churches. Now, we are na kwabna ni jina factory ho kwabna ni jina eye warehouse ho no jina here baba ba here baba ba here baba ikikoma gadusa iko braka ne braka ko ka ho o jina ho doing what praying asking god for the man job yet that place was already a job avenue how sick are we baby o jina no o ho eye adwuma adwuma ne ya convert dia ya sorry dan yo or be person man come here Ghana so for tonight. Mama, me in first time I make a same way. Me say about ninety nine, ninety nine of the men of God in this country, with the exception of ten percent, I can tell you, are not heard loud and clear out there. About ninety percent are corrupt, thieves and criminals. Now the papa, the church has become a cash cow. The church has become the abaya competition. The spirit of covetousness is misleading them. Check all of them. I swear to God, I so far can see I'm warm in her. Some of you, eh? Say, you Ghana and you crook it and on my kitty in your casa. I can bet my last coin. Say, some of these men of God in this country can buy a fence and private jet, but they, they won't buy it. Because Ghana for Bekasa. I'm telling you, folks, they are using you as a cash cow. They are making money, they are exploiting you, and you don't know. Now, tonight, maybe be exclusive to be actual. I cannot understand the media in Ghana. Say, I think that the journalists in this country, media, we have not been fair to politicians in this country. The politician, a maximum, say, they are four years to eight years. The interface of the politicians with the Ghanaian. And truck across media channel with this can Now, these some of these so-called men of God in the body of Christ have come thousands of people in their cathedrals, in their synagogue, whatever, from Monday to the end of the week. And guess what they are doing to them? Using all sorts of all forms of religious dogmatism psychology hypnotizing these people and exploiting them in the name of god now see a chase politicians you know this boy hey crazy politicians when we are chasing them out of town also for no one what company passion them ah or say woman oh god can i send them oh they'll be quick job after i saw one idea you see uh god is going to judge them and blah 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 now my question is the benchmark now yeah media yeah they measure politicians and why don't why do you think the intimate for the same benchmark and measure these men of god some of these men of god who are causing atrocities by way of using the name of god that especially not even the politician oh these people are using the name of god how do you say nipa Christianity has become a cash cow. When you show some of Ghana way, and your Christo soon may, when you are me who Ghana mobility, a soon boni boni Ghana for con at the boni, ye di boni, ye no boni, ye very boni, ye we ye boni mu. Nanche, a soon na do soon na ye si si sorry ni mo no. Oh, ene meka se the spirit of God should descend and control us. No. Rather, Momono, I feel the bonnie dorsal. What it means is that God doesn't delight in your building of synagogue and churches. And tonight, may they be better grandma. It owns them. The evidence of the a seed in a move a be so wahano. Ah, I hear cancer cells are mine. A seed in Benya. And then, sorry, baby, but no, yes, you see, yet. Ye who be being fem foul. I did chinny at the same moon. Yes, sorry, I gana for. We are all lifting our heads above. 
wondering where the next meal will come from. God is out there watching us. And he has given us the power, according to Genesis 1. Power to have the domineering one can say over some of the things of the earth. He said, over the things of the earth. That's the power he gave it to you and I. That's the power he gave it to the Europeans. That's the power he gave it to the Asians. That's the power he gave it to the Arab people. What about we, the black people in Africa? And yet, 60% of the global resources is located here in Africa. Ebi, enamu gold, you know. Ene, matese, press conference, ibi akoso. E japa deal, $12 million. Ayira, look, when you wake up and you see some very stupid people driving on the streets of the capital and blowing sirens, pa, 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 spending you and I, you see, and you are happy. Now, I have to politics. And I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, how dare you? How dare you? We are why? What is going on in this country? Now, share. As soon as there is little we've achieved. We're crying all over to God. What have we achieved? Nothing. It's all about seeing churches, especially in Africa, all over churches, and there's little results we've achieved. Take a listen to this and see the seed that we be germinating here. And I see the be planting here. What the seed has sowed, you sow, you know, it germinates into cancer cells. Like what? Watch this. Religion is one of the major problems we have in Africa. And the only way to overcome this problem is by stopping all forms of religion in Africa. There are more churches in Africa than companies or factories. Africa is the most religious, most prayerful, and most God-fearing continent in the world but yet tagged the most poorest and undeveloped in the world. Africans are more religious than the people that brought religion to us. We Africans pray too much. We pray and see everything as a spiritual problem instead of finding realistic solutions to our problems. It is only in Africa that you will see more than 15 churches in one street, but sees few or no single factory or company at all. It is only in Africa you will see three different churches beside each other. It is only in Africa you will see a story building that has a church at the first floor and another at the second floor. It is only in Africa that you will see pastors boasting of how they bought and turned into a hotel or club that has people on their payroll to churches, rendering all the workers of those clubs jobless. All in the name of, the club is distracting them from worshipping their God. It is only in Africa, where churches have services almost all the days of the week, and people will attend all those services praying for prosperity, instead of looking for realistic ways to prosper. Let me tell you something. Prosperity has nothing to do with prayers, casting, and binding prophetic declarations by pastors. Believers believe that prosperity is given by their God, so they always pray for it. That's why you will always find out that most of the poorest people in your area are the most prayerful and most holy people. Because they always pray for miracle money to come to them, instead of doing realistic things that will attract money to them. It is only in Africa you will see factories been turned to churches. Then the members will go inside to pray to their God for jobs. My fellow Africans, what is really our problem? Can't we see that this religion of a thing is not really working for us? Why are we carrying this religion of a thing on our head more than the people that led to us? Dear religious leaders, please, we don't need churches in every five to ten meters in the streets of Africa. We need more companies or factories in every 100 to 200 meters in every streets of Africa. And please stop turning the little ones we have to churches and stop rendering people jobless by turning clubs and hotels to churches. My name is Peter Poland and I will tell you for free that the church is a type of business in Africa. And I'm going to talk about this on my next video. You can DM me if you agree or know that the church is a business and you have something to contribute to it.
great folks are a who. Now, nevertheless, folks, now they have succeeded in weakening our mindset, our mental faculty, our consciousness, our ability to think, your ability to understand as to how things work. Hmm? So, why you are busy clapping and praying, they are doing something else. Yeah, can't wait I feel one more bomb, 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 one more and the falsification of the message in the bomb, one more 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 bomb, one So, Israel are fighting their enemies using missiles, rockets, jet fighters, bombs, and tanks, while Africans have left their enemies to the God of Israel. I think there's a problem somewhere. Okay. Don't say, I'm busy. Bomb pie. Bomb pie, no. Na woman. Yen, yeah, she said. Israel, yeah, go pomra. Israel, yeah, go pomra. Sir, where the echoes were Israel between Israel and Palestine. In Ipa, ye kumwo. Recent, a that is just uh, friends, October seventh, twenty twenty-three. Sab war and as in to kwa a siya Hamas for to share Israel swa. Israel, I retaliation. United Nations, a group, or maybe anyone with me. I why is with me? I'm an Israel for a giant to quay. Nipa, you come on one in Yasam get to. Then who be business on one Yanko Pombana? Then Israel for me as one million Yanko Pon MIE. Mobile boy at the whole year, Yakum was a Makaka from Genesis to Revelation. We are made to believe that the Bible was written on the shoulders of Debea, Israel, all the whatever that happened in Israel. In tea. Now, yet your Bible na Israel in some no, yet your no one way. Where were you? Where did they factor Africans in the written of the Bible? You see, I have loved this guy, uh, Avram Ben Moshe, who most often times would argue with these, some of these so called Christian scholars, and they will not get it right. Now, Jadier, a bium, yes, you are bomb, pie, near ye de de, a calling for something. How to construct our roads, how to construct bridges, how to construct infrastructures, education, and also to give life feed to the citizens, you know, under the direct principles of state policy. You know, that back and forth. You know, they are there thinking about the next generation. And the next generation, you know, they are using you, they are exploiting your inability to think. Your inability to factor reasons to what? To exploit you. And how are they going about it? Take a listen to this. The Middle East is fucked. We should know. We fucked it. Six of the ten fastest growing economies are in sub Saharan Africa. Countries rich in mineral wealth. Coltan for our computers, cobalt for our batteries, phosphates for our agriculture, nuclear ore for our power. These are things, gentlemen, that the wars of the next 20, 30 years will be fought over. A huge deposit of cobalt was discovered in Mali just over two years ago. Back then, we approached the Malian government on mining rights. They told us that those rights were going to the Chinese. So we set about to create the conditions to make sure that wouldn't happen. Just last week, uh, one of our Australian subsidiaries, thank you, Lex, secured those rights. Our pilot project in Mali hit a few bumps, but I'm delighted to report that it worked. And if it can work there, 
There's no reason it can't work in other mineral-rich countries across Africa. We create the chaos, and then we move in and capitalize on that chaos. We're looking at the long term here, gentlemen. Grace of return that will make Iraq and Afghanistan look like chicken feed. The chicken feed. Did you hear that? Omo di minu mi eno, I a chicken feed. Unza unza ohuya mo boka. Yami di ma. Folks, arehu. Ampanzu. Africa, omo di yeni I a chicken feed. Yeah. See, I'm fine. Your chicken feeder, hmm? folks. For all the wars, even until recently, just gone past sometime last year, 2023. Look at the military coups. You see, here in most of the French-speaking countries around African continent. A woman said, "A drew baby, you know, a you crying to me in Koho, and now am I am I be what continent is? Oh, must we free a you? This is how ridiculous." This is how repugnant AU have been reduced to simply like a rack to mop the floor. Now, Africa need leadership. Well, folks, strange enough to realize that the cancer cells have become endemic and all of us crestfallen and ready to give up, except on the condition that now we want to relegate the responsibilities to our forefathers. Afi Obiabre. Yeah. A bad Ghana had ya, Obi Abreu. One, assume entimiam wayen. Ah, assume entimiam pejayen. Assume na a bit to me di a hu, a slow, a dear bad Ghana penny for mu, chresse. A brewway. Ye babe ya appointment, ya appointment, ye babe swarm in, yes, sir. Inti quaprane, ya si quaquana, ya more appointment as Minister of Information. Near the Quekwana Quijan, near the Bible Namano. I Quekwanan here do hereby swear in the name of Almighty God, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. Now, what question, Minister of Finance? Now, what question, Minister of Works and Housing? Information, who would dig on a seeker without fear or favor to Ghanaians? Folks, are you thinking? Oh, Bano, or swear in the name of the Bible, that Bible that the white man brought to you. Obi be catch him say kweku jama unyi bible ni ni u yare yare e be na u yare you don't know how serious you cannot be and how unserious the continent we cannot be politician no am wo me mu ha me bo na mo the bible near the amount i jones whatever blah 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 do hereby swear in the name of almighty dad blah blah na wo come minister na question say mu mu bi sam ho say Hey, it's upon the Bible no or fire no swear no. Hmm? At the end of the administration, no, why you corrupt with dig on his case pot all and yet nothing could strike him by any stretch of imagination. Sir, and to not swear Bible no by what? This is how you and I should begin to engage. So that you will be catch him say quick and not just say too many Bible, yeah, I may catch you. One can say bring. And to honor be who say, O Bronino or Bano, O one for Bible now, Matt, one's one with the tracks, no, with the big Google or my yen, yen yen kind. And they started cultivating their plants and their way. Oh, say, or so much the eye, then chicken feed, yes, sir. The major resources globally, you know, our Africa, and so here, Kokrobit, or maybe to say Congo, until World Cup, we, eh, first African Cup, name Nim say, hey, O Yanko Pong. She the way a Congo for a si ba African nation pitches so the bo bo a share on my name. Yet this is a country that has gone in for well over how many years of civil war? And so civil war we and you mupe ni pada senino koko chan to kwa we at the two kungu monkon to kwa all over Africa ko events in Rwanda. How yes about how many two, three years ago? Ah me visit. Fence and Kigali, Rwanda. Now, bet me a way. I will pour Kagami a nim. Am I not a ye? We chase him watch it. Won't say a fee your bread. Yet the Bible not swa 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 me in penny for no. A tro and a da a coachy sum and in a braba sum. Obi Abemwebu. And now some are calling for what? 
we should now re-invite our forefathers to come back and take over. Ebe Yisana, take a listen to her, what she's saying, if you want us to go this direction. Listen to this. Now, my name is simple. My name is the Bible and the Quran and the Swahili. And here you must say. And to me, my name is simple. You have to have an amount. Name of Uber Swahili. Because the Bible and the Quran is not, is not effective. That is me, my opinion. Because since one in Kuruma time, yeah, the Bible and the Quran are swear in his And I think it's part of it is that a best ritual, a new human. But you know, because we have just two years for 2024. And then you say to people, and then you say, but there is no way constitution changes. No implementation, nothing will happen. We start here, because it's 2024. Campaign in the open year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maybe you are done for. Now say you don't see anything wrong with what is going in Ghana. I block you because who nipa who you would do? And to me, me 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 ask you a simple. For some men, I could see 2024. I had done a constitution on the salon. Who are the swing in? No more Bible, no more Quran. Yeah, for you, Nana. We've been on Ghana's most interesting times ahead, folks. Ajin Zemo. We are all crestfallen. We be a bit more blue. Because Osho Constitution, <clears throat> now we are hearing that the former president, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, has promised the people of this country say, the Constitution or the Nsabekan Constitution. May I pray and I salute that former President Mahama get this job done. And I believe say Ghanaians all over the world would applaud you so much. Trust me. Because the one one is here. Show. Hmm. Remember the year program we actually was here. Rawlings, the former and late flight Lieutenant General John Rawlings, started as a dictator and ended as a Democrat. On his shoulders, huh, this constitution was written. The young fan said, "A soldier for and I want to be here, don't be in tinche." So, mo am I am am a fan saying, "Presidents are now say I'm an penny for my bar." Mona Musio, we know Uber can see me go school or Cambridge, we see me go school or Yale University, we see me call Oxford, a Fahini, a Senehe, Nyasa, Yate. In Timumrani, you who the essence of this constitution say, I ye, I ye, ye, constitution, a boquine, a to hop for a very long time for Cronu, for a demudia, for a resum, in the I ye, ye, Mummy and Sesanum. No? The Aminia Gidio on Muse, on Obama, at least, so long as on your constitutional lawyer, dear. Oh, yeah, Ura, His Excellency Quiquado, President Akufado, to your best son at one time. Now, shall they finally, we have been deceived into thinking, easy, the Aminia Moya and Muntias, your Bible, no, 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 Ephesians chapter 5, verse 9, or say anything that is unworthy must be exposed. Did you hear it? Ephesians 5, 9. Anything that is unworthy must be exposed. And we are here tonight to expose things in the religious sect and in the political sect. There's a, we have to uncover everything. Finally, you know, we have been deceived into thinking that there is some truth in the cliche that God always elects leaders. And yes, I Asama ya ka to ya dream no ya kasa ni binu no oh on yakopon no see hinin on one no to hinis ah <laughs> oh ebi before the asem mobo now listen this deception have settled with us for far too long 
and the need to demystify it. Yes, sir. I see if you are Now, maybe chill out. Yes, sir. One of the elements who ostensibly used in the falsification of religious dogmatism tonight is going to tell you that story, sir. And you're not correct. Yes, sir. My can is oh, leaders there. Unyangu pon nusi. And you're here. Yate. But the answer, sir. Onyankro pon wa bo ni wiasi o trade yam pon kwame o trade yam pon basayadom woma ni panyansa o se think think I don't want to say it a nice way think 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 na for what you need a yadi be beneath you on you until only the twenty twenty four is about to get heated I oh God we let the leaders se nyankro pon the leaders in there any mo biyango campaign e inezo mo biyango campaign e Allow when the time reach, huh? God will descend to come and take a leader for you. When we said the Sabbath, yet Vinny ain't to me yet, Juma, he ran on. But when him, one of these religious leaders are on also Kahubie who have cultivated the falsification of this religious dogmatism onto thousands of people in this country tonight, he's going to tell you the truth. That's that assertion, that analogy, that narrative cannot, will not. It may not be true. Really? Take a listen to him. The result of the vote. So you can actually vote for a party which can punish you. Yes. And and, and, and they can punish you and create hardship for you, but because you see it like supporting Olympics or travels, you still support, although the policies are not favoring you. It's not about party colors. A nation becomes what its citizens vote for. Sometimes we pray, we say, let's pray for the nation, that God will bless the nation. No, we have to pray that the citizens will make intelligent choices. Because if the citizens don't make intelligent choices, God is not going to come and rule Ghana for us. We have to pray that the citizens will make intelligent choices. Because if the citizens don't make intelligent choices, God is not going to come and rule Ghana for us. The result of the vote. Did you hear? So you can actually vote for a party which, which can. can the, the result, result of the vote. vote. So, so you, you can, can actually vote for a party which, which can, can punish you. you. Yes. yes. And. And, and, and they can punish you and create hardship for you, but because you see it like supporting Olympics or travel, so you still support, although the policies are not favoring you. It's not about party colors. A nation becomes what its citizens vote for. Sometimes we pray, we say, let's pray for the nation, that God will bless the nation. No, we have to pray that the citizens will make intelligent choices. Because if the citizens don't make intelligent choices, God is not going to come and rule Ghana for us. The result of the vote. So, well, and you know what I'm going to do? Means that Otabel was it an underlined operative word unintelligent choices? It was there media, no, yes, the media must speak to the truth. We must bring the issues out for you to make an informed choice and an informed decision. Now, when the media fail on the quest to get this exercise done, we ditch the whole country. We take the whole country into ditch and we hit the iceberg. So, it's all there. And yet, a brab and a bre and bira yebe to a bano. And as I saw, oh, eh, on your coupon be leader, and yet, just a moody, you be beer, you take Ghana, Hano. Our irresponsible life is all about, say, you're from a yammy. What does Radi? I saw a co hospital. No. 
Wow, nyame no man, nyame no jie. Ya can we? Folks, this is Ghana speaks. Me the moose here. This is the part one. Me cut short. Me ba. Then Ghana speaks extension part two. Me do be bro. This has been Ghana speaks with Kweku Anan. Great folks, <clears throat> welcome back. This is the Frontline Show, and I am Kweku Anan. Of course, we've walked two legs of the journey, making approximately 33 minutes gone past the hour. What? The hour what? Guess yours. Nine. 34 minutes gone past the hour. Nine. And I'm yet to give you the Ghana Speaks extension. But until that, you know, WhatsApp message is in the best for 024-764-0312. WhatsApp line, 024-764-0312. Make in kind. Quite a number of them. Facebook, you know, I'd be bringing to me in kind of, but producer, I bet joining me. Before I finish the show, you know, producer, I bet joining me. You know, we really read the message. Yeah, number way there, air for, and there, you know, I'm going to message, you know, now when we say the new message. Oh, folks. Sometimes my heart beats a lot. Yeah. My memory was small about what I then I zeroed because now I'm going to go deeper. Tonight, we're about to make a, a certain declaration here. Yeah. I have a great sense of respect for one of Ghana's former head of state because I, Kweku, sitting here personally, was given a task to do a homework. So what should the eight-year rule, the no, the seven-year rule of Lieutenant General Kutu Echampon in Ghana. Oh, now we have a proper new year. Yet they are trying on my way move for God knows how under the Fourth Republican Constitution. Oh, MPP for name pe so mbeka aye Kutu Echampon abakwasem for the very reasons. Yes, Kutu Echampon came. And kicked off the Progress Party led by Dr. Kofi Abrifa Buzia together with Akufu Adepapa here, Edward Akufu. That's also one of the reasons why our history has been distorted for far too long. Now, my company, which is a Hawk Investigations Company, PI, together with the Kutu Echampon Foundation, together again with Professor Bafu Ajimandia, were tasked to do a whole documentary, as some of you, Mwenye Biyashe, Multimedia, Joy FM4, were given to show the documentary, the, the life of the life and the times of Kutui Champong. Mimi Company, any yes, a documentary, very, very highly educative documentary, and you would understand the works of Kutui Champong and what he did for the people of this country from 1972 to 1977 78. Before Ansena Yebura, a year events in Lehman, the events in the career diplomat on also better transfer or to top our password. And you know, say, could you a champion? Here, a soldier for more back gun, a better gun, as you and your mom, we are in one. Would they to talk a banya a year constitutionally mandated? Would you say, a catchy? Here, down someone estate. It is now known. In the history books, a Dansuman remain the biggest estate in the whole of West Africa. True or false? Go and check. Why they see a to a champion? Kwa na kwa cheke Mamprobi estate, greater estate, all of these estates. This is what a military leader did for this country. At a point, 
Ghana became the hub for rice cultivation and other food staples to the extent that Ghana was exporting food staples to many parts of the world, including South Korea. All right? At the time when Kutu Echampo Abreso, women were made, were encouraged to go into businesses, and women who succeeded in business front line could afford to buy VW Volkswagen. At the time, the Volkswagen were in this country assembling plants. Now the likes of the Kweku Bakons were all going around distributing leaflets and saying, with that political mass slanging and the propaganda, say, Kutu Echampo for Autobeji Golf. And until this day, if you ask any events, uh, political science students, say, Onka Abakwa Sam Kakra, Ewo Kutu Echampo, because, oh, and you're your president, you're not your buyer, man, for Autobeji Golf. How sick we are, how uneducated we are. And we are in this country, your professors, Dr. Emeritus, whatever, we sit down and we propagate this complete sickening propaganda way repugnant message way across our institutions and we don't even care. We cannot do anything to bring our leaders out there. Kutu Echampo era. Kutu Echampo era. Munim DSC Ghana. Well, I was tasked to do that documentary. Go and watch the documentary, part one, two, and three. Joy FM issue here recently. And my private online TV, the Hawk TV, yes, we issue. It's all out there. Go and educate yourself. Folks, Bonia ye ye tia ya hon. Kye a baby ba ya. John Mahama abe constructe. Ye si bibi de saglame. A dying over 200 plus saglame buildings so. E gu ho. A bain fu fraba. E di ene e fe. Se mo be ko. Na mo kwa kwa constructe. Ma saglame. E dain we ni pa akwa kwa tinim. Debi. This useless politics of setbacks and roadblocks. Politics of acrimony. And politics of wickedness in tea. And Sagleme, a dying soon in Nano. And Kusye, and Grantier, and Kutre, and Chilebe Nimpemire, and Ashemuma. And we are happy. We sit on our radios, television, and we feast in this, this commercial state of foolishness. And we are okay. As if said there is no leader in this country. Obe Komuno, Sagleme Project, no. MPP Nipe Nibi Persia Tormano. Now, move to me, Yashi. Swear to God, Ghana bears you, folks. Ghana bears you in the coming days, weeks, and months. Now, tonight, a couple of days ago, or weeks, barely about two weeks ago, the Vice President, His Excellency, now, Medimu, Ghana speaks extension here. Medimu, come. You are seeing here. Aha, Medimu, go deeper. The Vice President, His Excellency, Al Haj Muhammad Dubaumia, says the E levy shall be abolished if voted into power. Hello, Mr. Vice President. Why this? Now, Enana Dewey, the frontline show, is going to ask the Vice President just a, a question. Now, I come with Asafu Yehua Dimus as a Vice President to me, Yanua. <clears throat> I'll ask my chairman <laughs> to grant us the permission to see a free campaign. I'm a Vice President. I mean it. And I'm not kidding. Yay, now you want many more. Any at this, eh? How many days, weeks, any at the year campaign oh, in trying to pave way for the e levy to come? And who did they yo? Any at what you try here? E levy say to the extent that more reduce the figure and put 1.5 from current to be. You no, 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 no. Ghanaians were made to believe in this. Useless propaganda, lies, and thrown in and that's oh he left in the bar. You win a bet toy, be be a be okay, and they say 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 and throw and throw. My catch more politicians with the minor sides. Me wouldn't politician we ya miss wouldn't mean the actual enjoy me. I'm telling you folks, we have time to learn oh. We have time to reset. I see see on course school here, but we learn. I am not those journalists sitting on radio, TV. I see though they are not ready to learn. Look, journalism is always to believe that it's a learning curve. We research. Mumma yeti as they say, ye levy, and ya hutton a deba. And yes, sir. Now, ye be sir, question. Why would the vice president say, Obe can see ye levy, no intimin yen is here? Mr. Vice President, Your Excellency Al Haji, Muhammad Dubaumia, why wouldn't you cancel the ye levy now? You've given your roadmap. To be Aoko, maybe I'll be here another analysis between the vice president and John Mahama. Massa, 
However you think, I don't give a, I don't care. But I'm to tell you, sir, I will sit here anywhere to tell you the truth. Obi can ask me, the last time now what the other side? And we're saying something, oh yeah. Do you know why I left there? Because I left there not being an opportunist too. I left there because I was telling them the truth. And the truth was difficult and bitter for them to swallow. I am not an opportunist and I can never be. Folks, as some people are out there with the propaganda and try, try to assuage. No way. I am not a fair weather friend. Oh. I speak the truth. We are madame for now we are president or we are minister or we are deal. As long as your friendship will maintain, but manekre me cultural. And I don't pledge my allegiance to human, human beings. So I pledge my allegiance to the state before a party come. And there's a word to one of you, a journalist. And your allegiance is to a human being. Or to a human being, only who be human. What do you think you've done to the political party? You know? Why wouldn't you support the bigger picture? I can't say no. And they sit down to conspire to destroy your Ejuma Obeye. But the vice president, and none of you would the vice president tell Ghanaians what question what actually went on prior to the passage of the e levy? And the next morning, the president, His Excellency Adodanko Akufuado, was at the August House to deliver his speech. Ghana for Refi. You pass the e levy, no? Only you pass the e levy, no? And I don't know. The minority for no a walk out. Hmm. But something happened. Whatever that happened, I know the vice president is aware and the vice president know it. And we want the frontline show and our crew. We are demanding on the vice president, his excellency, Allah Haji Muhammad Baumia, come and tell Ghanaians what happened at the August House, the eighth parliament of the fourth republic, prior to the passage in DNC. The frontline show is demanding from the vice president to come out and disclose to Ghanaians what actually transpired before the passage. Yeah, Colonel. And no dan chain your own. You're politic, I say. Now we na na no Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, once said to the Americans, or see, do not reduce the American democracy to that of the banana republic or like a third republic. Let me see a new year. Because Third world for CNAA politicking. It be on fire. Now, tonight, I am here to say this to the eighth parliament of the Fourth Republic. The following persons must speak anytime soon on what exactly happened prior to the passage of the E levy. And I'm going to mention their names. Yes. Number one, Vice President, you have to speak to the nation. A DNA course and send an eleven. You pass here. We have all the answers. Near the Beba Makuma, but yeah, Mamma time. I am not going to give you a timeline, but as I am saying, come and speak to Ghanaians. Mr. Vice President, you must speak. Kennedy Kwame Akumpre Kwe Japan, MP4 Asin Central, you must speak. Ora Haruna Idrisu, then the minority leader. Haruna, you have to speak. Then Afenyo Markin, MP for a Futu. About saying how many? Vice President, Kennedy Japan, Haruna Idrisu. Huh? Afenyo Markin. And the last person who must add up to the number to speak is the current speaker of Ghana's parliament, the Rights Honorable Alban Kings for Sumana Bagbin. Mr. Speaker, with the greatest of respect, speak. What happened? Your turn. Mr. Speaker, me see, you have to speak. And you have to disclose the truth to the people of this country. Someone can the Krenwa will come and tell Ghanaians. Oh, I did be a cosso on sometimes a show right John Mahama and John Mahama who am a more book. Bonia, some of more minority for multi parliament to a mudia di leader John Mahama. Oh, when you're coupon and on Mamun Kakaye, there are some fine. Members in the minority bench are, look, regardless of everything, they are ready to go all out and fight with this man, John Mahama. And there are some who are, my or Madrid say, who call crook, they will sell their conscience and they don't care. And I do Mr. Speaker, 
you have to speak. A kunya a deputy is see a war parliament before a dread dear bain a course, my booby be so, Messedia, a dread dear bain and a court business bain a course, and son a year pass eleven, Sana Jono. I think you're marking, you know, you know what we know. Yet, him, Mumbe country Ghana for. Now you see, it is not anything to say that Baumia want to cancel the E levy. But how dare you insult the intelligence of Ghanaians? No, we say, say, see, there may be so rare Baumia, and they say, hey, and then they say, all the money that has accrued under the E levy passage, you know, Mumbe said they are Ghana for one because this is illegitimate collection of money, is it not? So what are you going to do? Mumbe is going to Ghana for. Are you going to refund the money to us? Are you going to disperse the money back to the kitty? Or what are you going to do? You've collected illegal money. Folks, and this is the third leg of the journey we've walked. I mean, called the last journey. Now, Shannon, so say, on this program, hmm, expose is urban, me who be that. But I I am even scared of some of these exposes. Because I'm scared, I'm not in scared of me slow. But you see, Given the circumstances of what we, we know, what we have, I wish that Kweku, I don't know what I know, perhaps. But then again, it also drives me into my state of being igno ignorance. Do I want to remain to be that of an ignor ignoramus person? The answer is no. But sometimes it makes you scared that you know too much. Because, eh, hey, hmm, Ghana for eh, hmm. Now, expose sa eh, beba. I will show you soon. On the political front, and I call it the political exposés, Ebeba. Economic exposés, Eba. And religious exposés, Nina Namquem. Now, on the political front tonight, folks, we are going to go deeper into some serious documents and classified materials which exposes nefarious activities ever happen hmm? in this nation. For example, quote, who are the conspirators attempted to assassinate the president, unquote. I'm sure you heard me right. Yeah. I'm sure you heard me right. Yeah. I'm one of the journalists. I don't talk bad. I don't talk bad. Yeah, don't joke with us. Now, my main country, we are a politician, we are a man of God, a businessman, a journalist, whoever you are, please come humbly and let's all together we think and talk. Be part of the change I, you and I wish to see. Do not, I repeat, do not go out there and make it look like say, oh, the Obekwa form, form it, an alliance of conspira conspirators, mobile hunting, spiritually or physically. But I stand here tonight by the declaration of the power of the Almighty God. He who was and is to come, and he who forms the complex network of the galaxy, has declared and has given us fulfillment of this power to do this job. And to any attempt coming from that corridor, trust me, you will be the first casualty. I can assure you. And the boni wo utrimu a sesa. Sesa ahay meni brisem. Sesa na onyango pon fa wo sone meso ni amwa mo me inko. No me ye ya ahunto mai. Se a expose ebeba. Who ana ya kane se? Hmm. Expose is na nwo dne. Yes. Who are the conspirators attempted to assassinate the president? Quote and quote. Now, the one one is there. I deal with conspirators now, so if on one if he and many more of such horror exposes are coming. Dangerous now. New documents be in a document. Be now, I mean, a lot more of Ghanaians in many of the class society have chunk on this document, and we are trying to play dilly dally over this document. Ah, am to do this. Are these your documents? Ah, you see the interesting part of that document in the If you are an outsider looking in, then that document simply will not make sense of it all. But if you are an insider looking in, inside out, 
then it will make a sense of it all. What it means is that this is a document that is looking like a couch of an image of a group of people who want to rise up into what you call political dynasty. Such documents, enemy idea, a who a random. Such documents, ye be pa pay mu one by one, so that you know the roadmap into why this administration is going the way it is going, so you can make a sense of it all, and then you can make an informed choice. Tonight, I can only say to the governing party, the new patriotic party, say, they be a new madron, MPP, go home. Yes. I can only say humbly to the party NPP, go home. But it's only a MPP, go home. But it's only a Bibini Africa. And you can't wait to face here. I know you're catching our face here. But no. Go, get your ass together again. Redirect and realign. And let's see how things will go. But as we speak, I'm going to read, I'm going to bring a lot of intelligence report. Look, whatever I'm going to tell Ghanaians, opinion polls. I'm a student of security and intelligence. I am not going to give you any damn opinion poll. I'm not interested in opinion poll. I'm going to give you classic intelligence report. national security report. Despicable, shameful national security outfit. Who has not performed up to task? And the MPP is refusing to tell Kandapa. Don't talk to Kandapa like that. Namza how? Who the hell is he? On your kebich and ye ye. Kandapa ye kebich and ye ye. Now, folks, a lot of exposés are coming. Dangerous ones. You need option. However sensitive it is, we have to share with Ghanaians. Number two, at the religious front. We shall unveil now your real political side now. The religious side now, so expose is a kesieba. Now here, at the religious front, we shall unveil a renowned man of God, name withheld in Ghana. A software kesia kesia moshe Ghana has some of you mudi bonitia Ghana for kweku. I'm tired. You'll be exposed wherever you are. I'm telling you. Me say. Some of you, you'll be exposed. Watch me. We are coming after you. You'll be exposed. Now, however, for now. However, we shall disclose some letters of his name. Some letters be of his name, shall we? Now, his name can be said to be beginning with the letters. Pick a pen and a paper. This so-called man of God, we, the Dean Shasier, with the M-I-C-H, M-I-C-H, dash, middle name, you know. The middle name also go with B-U-A, B-U-A, and then the last name. The last name go with N Y A M. N Y A M. And the rest, men can count. Now, sooner rather than later, the expose would unveil the circumstances surrounding hmm? why the church is currently called what? It's called T H E M A K E. Or Danus is It's called T H E M A K E R. Meaning, say there, the make. The make, the make, ka, or the make, whatever. But there's a letter attached to this last letter, we, the maker. There's a letter to it that will form a complete name of a church. And I'm not going to add the letter to it. Then the last name of the church, I will mention it. Now, for the purposes of emphasis, and the emphasis is mine, the expose would also establish who is this person called Albert. Odulele. Albert Odulele is a Nigerian who was arrested in London for alleged child pedophilia. 
or your software so for penny can see over nigeria you can you bet me i check in it in he was arrested in london was he saying kratu homosexual and he was arrested number five intimacy who is this man albert to do lily mark the name yeah basso should i say the name of the asori army baby boy yeah the glorious house the glorious house Hey, sorry, I saw Odulele no dano. Now Odulele no ono eno toss as I see ya. I sorry we ya ewo gane isiswo. I didn't see ena so ni diyanse sende. The expose would also establish why this man of God threatened a junior pastor in the church to have him kill, and what were assigned reasons you will know. And who is this junior pastor? Why ni friend of Boafo, a BPM. The expose would also establish why this man of God falsified several prophecies for the church and especially the elite class. The expose would also establish whether or not the allegation that he is involved in money laundry, true or false. And we shall also establish whether or not he was arrested recently for narcotic trafficking. Good. Last one. We shall also establish why a top politician in the governing party npp particularly the governing party npp who perhaps the acts may fail may fall for the vice president's slot hmm? his close associate there's somebody in mpbr make us a vice president slot now. the acts a commander folly on him likely it's also a close associate to this so-called man of god folks and i'm kwemu eba and I me, but uh, director of land registry, director of land registry in Ghana, a madam, uh, ya Bwedi, land registry director. You've lost your mother, mommy. You say condolence. What, what in? Now, to Okrana. ma ora Gabi Asare before I bring Ghana Speaks to a close, may I send this message to Gabi Asero that the family, family now, he attempted to secure a visa for their relative now, are waiting to receive their money. For lack of say, Gabi, you failed to work out the visa for them. Now, it's beginning to look like Kwekwanan are publishing falsehood about Gabi. And a lot of people are not comfortable. But tonight, I want to quote the date in which Gabi Asarochredakun made an undertaking to receive this money on the 2nd of December 2005. Hmm? 2005. Gabi Asarochredakun took this thousands of pounds sterling from this family name withheld. Gabi. Because sooner rather later, no. The main issue in this visa, you see, why you have money. Kona kutu yomu sika ema omu. Folks, na sumdimra. Ese midimu AC hasi na ebreno aye beniyeko. Of course, it's just about ten zero zero on the dot. This has been Ghana speaks with Kwekwana and the entire team. Until same time, so you can come Wednesday. We come your way with yet another interesting edition. Shannon, so say, be bia ye ye bia no. Yen yen wone kwa so say, when you come be shira gana. And you be who tan yo. E yen de kura e se ye de e de die mo when you come pon enum yam. And so e de eba. Of course, I have to thank all my crew, my camera guys, my technicians, and MCR director of TV and the entire production team. Both here and of course editors at large. Mune Bedamas and say, Mabwa, Mashuni, a meeting edition here to media browse. Same time, Wednesday, call a friend to call a friend, say 805 sharp. Then the frontline show would be airborne. I am Quick One and bye for now.
Lifeline with Kukwana, only on CTV.